In this particular chapter, we'll talk about how you can deploy your script using the user data. So in our previous chapter, we had used the custom data to do the same. And in this particular chapter, we'll use the user data to install an Nginx server. Now, the only difference is that using your user data, you can actually retrieve that same data using the Azure Metadata Service. Now, Azure Metadata Service is something that I will go in depth in an upcoming chapter. So the only thing that you need to remember is that you can use a URL within that particular virtual machine to access that particular script or any other information that you want stored in your user data. So for this example, what I'll do is again, I'll use the same script that I used in my previous chapter. That is, I'll just install an Nginx server using the user data. And once I've done that, I'll also use the metadata service after I log into that virtual machine to access the same data again. Now, one thing to remember is that your user data is not encrypted. So it's advisable never to store any confidential information using your user data. So you should only store information that is not confidential and that even if it's accessed by somebody else will not cause much harm. So things like password should never be stored within your user data. Now, again, like I said previous, previously, your metadata service is something that I'll explain to you in depth in an upcoming chapter. So let's start off by creating a virtual machine. So let's go back to our console. Let's create a virtual machine. Let's click on create virtual machine. So this time I'll create a new resource group. I'll just call this as user data. Click on OK. Let's just make this as password. And another thing that I will do is I'll also enable the public port 80 because I'll be creating an Nginx server that will be running on port 80. And apart from that, there's nothing else. So let's go to the advanced tab. And here what you'll see is not the custom data, but the user data. So here you just need to enable this user data. And let's just copy this particular script. Now this script I'll give in the description. You can just check this out as well. So it's very simple. It's just installing an Nginx server and then just starting that Nginx server. Nothing more than that. Let's click on review and create. And let's create this virtual machine. Okay, so my instance has been created. So the next thing that I'll do is I'll log into this particular public IP address. And here you can see that I was able to install Nginx. So the next thing that I'll do is I will log into this instance and using the Azure metadata instance service, I will try to access this particular script. So that's one important aspect about using your user data. So that is that you can access this particular script from within the virtual machine itself. So I've logged into my virtual machine. Now let's try to access this particular script from our metadata. That is the uh, Azure instance metadata service. So let's copy this and let's paste it here. And here you can see that my script is available. Now using this user data, you can not just only really store scripts, you can also store other information which you want to access through your virtual machine. So that's it for this lecture. I hope this was useful. I will see you in the next.